His therapy is to paint through the pain. His artwork has been shared and reposted on social media numerous times. A new wave of political art is emerging across the country. MLK in a hoodie. A lot of people had something to say about that. Nicholas Smith, who's live from Los Angeles. Do you believe that art has the power to heal? My name is Nicholas. Uh, I'm an artist who wears many hats. I'm a concept artist, movie poster designer, children's book author and illustrator. I am an activist, or as I like to say, I'm an artivist. Nicholas calls himself an artivist, combining his art with activism. An artivist, I feel, is somebody who uses their art to really inspire people to make a positive change. Every Sunday, I started creating pieces that reflect what's going on in the world, kind of based off of Nina Simone's quote of, you know, it's an artist's duty to reflect the times. Art is one of the most effective forms of protest. Nicholas's portraits have launched deeper conversations about race and the way American society portrays black people. It's a cautionary piece about not judging a book by its cover. I would love to um, make joyful stories about America, but I think patriotism is also being able to stand up for justice for all. If I can grab people's attention, I want to grab it and show them how we can move forward. Books like this are trying to hold America's feet to the fire. Let these kids be aware of what's happening, but then also equip them with something to be able to fight back or make this world better. If you're a little black kid, you can be proud about your ancestry. You can be proud about um, the people who became African Americans. Creating visuals to show young folks, you can do incredible things. And sometimes it's just a matter of like getting them to see themselves in a manner that they haven't seen and opening their eyes to what's possible. There's so many kids who are going to walk in Target and see themselves represented on something that I've created. And it's something that I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life. It's on Amazon's list of best-selling children's books. The book, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, The Courage to Dream. Artist Nicholas Smith never thought he'd co-create a new character for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Educated at Hampton and HBCU in Virginia, made his way to California to work as a Disney Imagineer, designing theme parks for 11 years until leaving to focus on activism through art. Have you ever done any digital painting? I thought we might be able to do like a superhero movie poster. I love that. You can tell a story that stays with us forever. I did the Obama family as the Incredibles. He sent me a thank you letter for this, which was crazy. I wasn't expecting that. I don't just do superheroes, I do super villains. I have a unique perspective that I want to get out to the world. I'm going to be fearless in doing it. Converse reached out to me and asked me to put my art on billboards all over Los Angeles. That was just an unbelievable moment, explaining to people who I am as a black artist. I want to create some sort of empathy and, and to put you in the shoes of somebody else. Nicholas Smith is paying tribute to seven-year-old Jasmine Barnes. Rihanna tweeted this image in honor of her late friend. It gets to a boiling point where I'm like, I have to process this through my art. In addition to George Floyd, Nicholas has used his art to honor countless other black lives lost. It just feels like there's so much of a lack of care for human life. I want people to like see into the soul of another person who is, is no longer here. You left the painting kind of unfinished. Yeah, his life was unfinished. And a lot of my, my art of his pieces is so important to be able to, to be a voice for the voiceless. I rise today to commemorate the legacy of Atiana and call on our law enforcement to stop these killings now. Artivism can take it to the next step where you can not only preach to the choir, but speak to those people on the other side of the opinion. Put their name on this petition or contact their district attorney or just see people as people. This morning, a new mural was unveiled in downtown L.A. in honor of the Lakers great and his daughter, Gigi. L.A.-based illustrator Nicholas Smith created that artwork. A powerful tribute for the late Chadwick Boseman. Unveiled in honor of the Black Panther star in downtown Disney in Southern California, artist Nicholas Smith beautifully crafted a display featuring the signature Wakanda Forever Salute. Nicholas, you are amazing, and this is beautiful. I have no words. As a concept artist, what I do is I create what I want to see.